All right, so since I'm wearing the Serica tonight, il est tard dans la nuit et je suis normal. So tonight I'm going to be doing a full review of a watch that I borrowed from a good friend of mine. You may have seen it in my first impressions video I did on it. What watch is that? The Brown Dial Bulova watch. Ah oh yes, brown the new black. This is kind of a dressy everyday wear watch, so let's review it. And here is the Bulova in all of its brown dial glory. You can see the heart of the movement beating away. I think that's probably the most divisive aspect of this watch is the open heart. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of open hearts as I mentioned in the first impressions video of this watch. But aside from that, I do like its aesthetic. So this is on a light brown strap with a Bulova deployant clasp on it. The cool thing about deployant clasps like this is it kind of saves a bit of wear on the strap because you don't really have to bend it to get it through a buckle. You just have to kind of feed it through the keepers. These are snug. Let me get that out of the way. Feed it through the keepers, and then you can close it. So you can keep the strap more straight when you're putting it on and taking it off. However, I own one of these, and it's actually not very comfortable. These pushers on the side here kind of dig into my wrist, but they are pretty cool. They also have friction fit pins in here, at least mine does, which is kind of weird. So it's a little bit of a pain to swap it out. But this is the original strap, as you can see here. And it's been well worn. Very nice. For a dressier piece, these lugs are kind of wide. It's somewhat difficult to find dressy straps at 22 millimeters wide. I found that a lot of them are more of the rugged, tough, manly looking straps. Not so much dressy. You can find them, but they're definitely more rare at the larger size. I mentioned these lugs in my first impressions video. They are great. I love that Art Deco style to them. Looking at the case side. It's a little bit tall, but being large like it is, it's proportionate. And the case back. There's some branding and a little bit of information around the edge of this case back. It calls out that it's water resistant, but we don't have any specifics on that. And I looked around online and I was only able to find a few sold listings for this particular model. And none of those listings had any details on the movement that's in it or the water resistance. I don't think they even called out the case size. But this movement looks great through the display case back. Even though this is kind of a dressy piece, it's actually a bit sporty in everyday wear. There's some crown guards here. The crown does not screw down. So let's try winding this. It feels nice and smooth. We'll pop this crown out. There's no ghost position or anything. It feels pretty good when you're setting it. You can see that the seconds hand is still going, so this does not hack. The bezel on this is brushed, but everything else is polished. So that's another wise decision for an everyday wear piece. 
looking at the dial. That is so cool. I love the texture around the outer band of it here. And then it's smooth in the center. The applied markers look great. And this does have loom. You can see that in the hands, which makes them very legible. And a little tiny bit around the edge of the markers there. It doesn't seem to be a lot of loom, so I'm guessing it doesn't last very long. Let's see if I can get some time-lapsed footage of it. All right, I guess that was better than I thought it would be. Look at that inside minutes track there with little tiny indices on it. That's pretty cool. And the text on the dial that's offset to the side there. And I've always loved Bulova's logo and it's really cool seeing it as the counterweight on the seconds hand. Right there. That looks pretty cool. As for the specifications on this watch, the case size is 42 millimeters. The case height is 13 millimeters. The lug to lug is 48 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters. The crystal on this, I believe is mineral. It's not sapphire. I used my diamond tester on it and nope. I'm not sure what movement is in this. I haven't found any information on that so far online. And I'm guessing the water resistance is probably 50, 30 to 50 meters. I also haven't found that information online either. All right, so let me take off the Serica. It's been a little while since I've worn this. Brilliant watch. If I still own this in September, I'm hoping to take this to Paris and actually visit Serica. So cool. All right, let me take this off and we'll see what it's like when you're wearing the Bulova. Okay, so this was the worst deployment clasp I have used yet. It took me forever to get it closed. And I actually had to close it first, then really bend that strap to get it through the keepers. So never mind, this one doesn't extend the life of the strap. It's actually worse than a buckle. With practice, it could probably be done a lot easier, but this was definitely a difficult clasp to get shut. But here's the Bulova on my seven inch wrist. My wrist is 55 millimeters wide. The height doesn't look too terrible. It's definitely a large watch. One of the sold listings that I encountered had been sold for that reason. The former owner found the watch to be just too large for him. But that brown dial looks so great. Yeah. Brown dials are pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get one sometime. Nice. There you have it. The first brown dial watch that I've seen in person. Thanks for watching.